everybody. Happy Wednesday. Hope you all are staying warm. It's freezing out there today. Even the pups were complaining outside. So today, we were going to give newbie Zoe a bath, but because it is absolutely freezing outside, change of plans, it is just too cold for a bath and to dry on her own. So we're going to make some enrichment for her. And we have here a dog puzzle, which is great. Um, little compartments here. There's a middle section, some compartments on either side. And they make these in plastic or wood. Um, this is the only one we have right now. So if anyone's thinking of donating something fun for these doggies enrichment, these puzzles are great. Um, Hopefully Zoe will be into it. She's not the biggest treat girl, so that's why I have such a big variety of treats. So let's get filling. Okay, so we have these jerky treats. They're beef and sweet potato. And they're like kind of soft and crunchy. Grain free, all natural, of course. So I'll throw some of these in some compartments. Let's put one in the middle there. That's like the easiest spot is the middle. We'll do one in there. I have these crunchy sweet potato treats. I actually can break these up. So I'll put a few in one compartment and mix it up a little bit, you know? See if we could find something that uh, Zoe will like, which I'm sure. She has to like one of these things, right? So we have these, which are actually, um, I think these are beef stew flavored treats, which are really cool. They're soft, so the dogs really, really like these. Hi, Bailey. Thanks for tuning in. All right, so we're filling this up. Got some peanut butter and banana flavored Bill Jack training treats. These are perfect for training. They're um, a really nice size, as you can see. And they're very soft, so they even break up even further. And they smell really good, like more peanut buttery than banana, but I'll put a few of those in each thing. Also have these molasses. These are crunchy as well. Also can break them up. So we'll put them in a few spots. Just kind of giving her a little bit of a variety just in case she's not interested in one treat, she can smell another and really go for it. We did do this a few minutes ago with Max too, and he loved it and completed the puzzle very, very quickly, got everything out with no issue. He actually um, lifted these little compartments with his mouth using his teeth. He lifted it right up. It was very funny. So. If Zoe doesn't do it, we can always do it with Max to show you guys how it's supposed to be done. And then, of course, peanut butter. And remember, if you are going to give your dogs peanut butter, always check the label on the back of the peanut butter and make sure there is no xylitol, which is an artificial sweetener, and it is not good for doggies. So peanut butter is great for them. They love it but you wanna make sure you're safe and use the right kind. Okay, fill these all up. Some more peanut butter in there. Gotta make it good, right? Let's see. Cover those up, some in there and there. Did I miss any? No, I think we are good. Let's get the rest of this peanut butter off and put it in right there. All right. Let's see what Zoe thinks. We have her all set and ready to go in the meet and greet room with Lisa. So let's go in and join them. Now Zoe is officially ours now. She did come in as a stray last week and uh, Today was her seven day hold is up. She is going tomorrow to Dr. Roeder's to get a full check over, get her shots, get spayed, and she will be up for adoption Friday. She's definitely some kind of a mixed, perfect sized dog. She does need to fill out. She's very thin, um, but she's great medium sized. Here I'll flip around so you can see 
how she's perfect lap dog size, if you ask us. She loves toys, especially squeaky toys and tennis balls. And she just loves snuggles. She wants to be with you all the time. Um, we have noticed that she seems to be fine with other dogs. She's very um, calm and engaging with them and wants to go near them. Um, so I think she would be okay with another dog. Obviously, if there is another dog in the home, we do have to do a meet and greet. Um, and with cats, she does seem interested, but listens very well. And she does back off if you tell her to leave it. She's not growly or biting. She just does hyper focus. Um, but again, that breaks very easily. She walks great on a leash. She loves to ride in the car. She's, she's just an awesome, awesome girl. So again, this girl will be available officially on Friday. So get your applications in because I don't think she's going to last very long at all. Right, Jojo? Right, Jojo? Not in the least. And we're thinking she is uh, probably between eight and nine years old. She is an older girl. We'll get a better estimated age when she goes to Rotors tomorrow, but based on her teeth and, and her graying of her face and everything, definitely a little bit older, but she doesn't act like it. She still has lots and lots of life to live and love to give. She's just awesome. So let's see. <laughs> let's see if we can get her to do this puzzle. Zoe! Zoe! Zoe. What's that? What do you think? Definitely some interest there. Oh, good job. <laughs> that peanut butter, I tell you. <laughs> good girl, Zoe. See, she's being nice and, and gentle and taking her time. and <laughs> But she really is more about love. She's would choose pets over treats any day. <laughs> Good job, Zoe. <laughs> yeah, when Max had his turn, he was not this gentle. <laughs> he pretty much just picked up the whole thing and was like, I'm spilling all these treats right now. Good girl, Zoe. Good girl, yeah. <laughs> Good girl. There you go. You gonna open it? <laughs> Good job. See, she moves the compartments with her nose. She hasn't quite figured out how they open yet, but she knows there's something in there. Good girl. Yes, she's doing so good. Yeah. I know, I know. Go find more. <laughs> she does have crazy ears. They're very cute. Sit. Look at those ears. <laughs> How can you not say she's not the cutest little girl? Right? Here, let's see. Look at this. I know you're into the peanut butter. I'm gonna show her where there's a compartment of straight peanut butter. Oh, there you go. Some of them get this puzzle immediately. Some of them takes a little while. Some of them need some help showing them what to do. And others, like Zoe would really just rather be pet, but she seems to be really into the peanut butter, so I wanted to show her that she can have some yummy peanut butter. Right, Dodo? <laughs> Good girl. What's this? What's in there? Look. Good girl. Good girl. We're gonna have to give you a Kong filled with peanut butter, huh? Now that we know that that seems to be your favorite. Good girl. Good girl, yeah. She does uh, no basic commands. She just slobbered me. So as long as you guys don't mind a little slobber. 
<laughs> she's good. Here, let's see if we can get her to do some tricks for you. Here, Zozo. You wanna sit? Good girl. Can you give me paw? Here, paw. Come on, give paw. Come on, <laughs> sit. Sit. Here, sit. Sit. <laughs> She's like, no, lady, just give me the treat. She's too cute. Sit. Oh, can you guys hear Mr. Max? He's jealous. And she's very gentle, as you can see. We've seen nothing but love from this girl. Right? Nothing but love. She just like her belly rubbed. She loves those toys. Just go sit. She is a lap dog, so make sure you're ready to have a like 40 pound dog on your lap. <laughs> right? So again, this is Zoe. She'll be all ready for adoption come Friday. Right? All right. Everyone say bye, Zoe. Bye, Lisa. Bye, everybody. We'll go see some kitties now. Right, Zozo? Maybe we'll come back to you in a minute. She seemed to really, uh, really like that peanut butter, which is good. I love doing those puzzles with a lot of different treats so we can figure out what they like the best. All right. So if you guys remember on Sunday, I showed you Marble and Rebel, who were the two 10-year-old cats that came in from a situation where their owner is very ill and was hospitalized. Well, they have settled in quite nicely and have become extremely friendly because they feel comfortable here now. They are loves. That's Miss Marble. Aww. It's a total difference from Sunday. I mean, in just a few days of us spending some time with them. And there's Mr. Rebel. And Maria has been working with them and they're just super duper sweet. Everyone say hi, Maria. <laughs> Yeah, Miss Marble. Again, we are hoping that these two can be adopted together. Um, they are on a diet and should be kept on one. They're a little bit large, but loving nonetheless. Uh, they are brother and sister, have been together their whole lives. And I think having at least one constant stay, they'll do extremely well. It just takes them a few days to settle in like any buddy. <laughs> um, and once they're settled, they are just sweet as pie. My babies, he's so sweet. <laughs> Big, huge difference from last week. <laughs> Marble, she's very cute. All right, sweet babies. All right, so let's move to the back and Play with some kitties. How about that? Let's see. I'm going to grab a handful of treats. I'm so, I almost did a live stream on Monday because we got our first kittens in from this kitten season. But they went into a foster home already with the wonderful Carol Daly, who is a great volunteer here. And she actually runs our website for us. And... She's just amazing. Her and her family do an outstanding job raising little kittens. And uh, there wasn't anybody else I was going to call on. <laughs> she was all set and ready to take in these three little babies. They're three females. And um, they're probably about four weeks old. So stay tuned for some pictures of them as they're in their homes. And within the next four to five weeks, they will be available for adoption. All right, let's head into the back and see who we can find. Let's see. Hi, babies. Let's see. Who is here? Oh, right away. Miss Daisy girl, fan favorite. Here, babe. Want a treat? Oh, wow. There you go, Daisy. Let's 
see. Oh, Orchid. Are you going to come down and get a treat? Huh? She's thinking about it. Oh, here she comes. I knew it wouldn't take long. Here you go, Orchid. Oh. A little soccer player. There's a handful of treats out. Others will come running. Some of them, those guys don't really want me to get near them, but they want the treats, so I won't corner them. There's a uh, Queen Camilla, one of our long-haired black kitties that went in for a shave down, so she's feeling good, nice and shaved, right? She's one of our shy kitties in our shy cat club that uh, would do best in a home where she can either just hang out or with some other cats, possibly a barn type situation. But she definitely does require a shave down twice a year. Oh, let's see, is Brad coming? Brad, come here. Our catteries are still open. Once we open them, we open them for good. Um, even though it's a little chilly today, we still have some kitties out there enjoying the sunshine at least. Come on, Brad. He's hearing me and he's trying to get in, but he, come on, buddy. There you go. He's still trying to, <laughs> you guys see him trying to get in. Come on, bud. Come on. Here, let's see if. See if we can help him a little bit. Come on, buddy. <laughs> Come on. Here, I'll hold the door for you. There you go. Come on, silly boy. Hi. He is such a nice cat. He loves his belly rubbed. He's just a good boy. <laughs> Having a little trouble figuring out that flap, but he'll get it. Come on, buddy. <laughs> oh, there we go. See, I knew you'd get it, you silly boy. Yeah, I knew you'd get it. Right? Yeah. You say hi to everybody? Huh? <laughs> Extremely sweet boy. Right, Brad? Loves his belly rubbed. And to be pet and talk to, and he'll talk back to you, and wants to sit on your lap. Follows you around. He'd make a good addition to any any home. There's Miss Tabby. Say hi, Tabs. Her ears looking better and better every day. Oh yeah, good girl. Good girl. All right. Let's see if we can find Russell. Is that Russell right there? Hi, Russell. This is our seven month old boy, Russell, who came in with Peep, um, his sister who is all black as well, but has extra toes. Again, they're about seven months old. They came to us on Easter. Um, they were found outside and just seemed too sweet to be, what? Brad's like, no, talk about me more. Um, so Russell is super duper sweet. He's just a total love. Gets along with other cats, doesn't have any issues at all. About seven months and all up to date, neutered, and just super duper sweet. He's been actually following around Maria all day. Oh, who is that? <laughs> Come here. Oh, there's Miss Josie under there. Josie's a sweet kitty too. She keeps to herself back here most of the time, just because she would prefer to not have a million cats around her. But she's very sweet. She loves scratches on her head and her chin. 
Uh, she's been with us for a while. Right, Josie girl? <laughs> her favorite spot is under the sink. That's one of her, her spots. Oh, Russell's getting some treats. Oh, wow, Daisy, you're sharing. That's nice. And let's go see Peep, if we could find Miss Peep. She's feeling a bit better. She was a little grouchy last week after her surgery, but she's still in the cage because she's still a little bit nervous about coming out. But this is Peep, Russell's sister. Oh, it's okay, Peep. Let's see. We, she'll show us her toes. Oh, Peep. It's okay. It's okay. She's still a little bit grumpy, but she is very sweet. <laughs> Even though it doesn't sound like it, she is. Don't be so grumpy, Pete. <laughs> she is sweet, though. Oh, Mr. Bub is eating. You say hi, Bub. You say hi, Bub. This Bub a boy. He's a sweet boy. He's one that needs to be on a grain-free diet because he does have some intestinal issues occasionally. Does better with grain-free. He is also very sweet. He came to us as a stray a little bit ago. I think he's about two years old. Right? He's just a nice boy. Right, Bobbies? Good boy. Can I say hi to Cadbury? Cadbury, you gotta say hi. Oh, she's not ready to wake up. Oh, and look, Bubba was not ready for me to stop petting him. Huh, Bubs? Huh? What's the matter? <laughs> you sweet boy. Yeah? And then Miss Honey again. I know Honey was a favorite last week. She's our medium haired torty girl. It's gorgeous. Right, honey bunny? Looking for some love. She's got the coolest coat. She definitely does shed a bunch, as you can see. She loves to be brushed, so that's not an issue. But she's got this thick, thick coat. She's just beautiful. Right? Say hi, honey. Oh, and then Mr. Lazzy. Hi, Lazarus. You gonna come say hi? Come here, Laz. Big handsome boy, Lazarus. Oh, everybody's yawning today. It's making me yawn. <laughs> Need to take a cat nap, I think. Mimi. I don't know if I've shown you guys Toothless. I think in passing I have. She's a cool cat. She's can be a little feisty at times, but um, I think that's more the other cats rather than her reaction to people. She is really, really cute. And her name, she got her name Toothless because she does look like the dragon from How to Train Your Dragon, if you guys have ever seen that. Um, she's got those big, big green eyes and a small almost flattened face super cute come here you gonna come here no <laughs> she's purring if you guys can hear it oh toothless hi hi good girl yeah <laughs> those eyes are the cutest thing Oh, and there's Slick just hanging out. She's really settling in back here. Yeah. Yeah, Miss Slick. A little oil spill kitty. Like I've said before, Slick is just an all-around sweetheart and would do great in any home. She doesn't mind other cats. Definitely doesn't care about dogs. Would love kids because she's just so sweet. And she's one that'll follow you all over the place. And she's a good girl, right? Gorgeous girl. Okay. 
Let's see. Oh, here's Russell. I told you, he's really come out of his shell and just follows you everywhere. He's become the new Hedwig back here, basically. Right, Russ? Right, Mr. Russell? <laughs> oh, you mushy boy. Right. You're so sweet. Oh, is that ham? You guys want to see ham? He's also a cutie and a big boy. Say hi, ham. This is Ham. He's a buff boy. Oh, he's a massive purr. Very, very sweet. He actually came to us from animal control as well. Um, from the tragedy in Montgomery where three people passed away, unfortunately, in their home. And he was in that home um, with the people for about four days and uh, then animal control was able to get in there and get him out and we named him Ham because he looks like a big ham, <laughs> pretty much. He's got some hair loss from a flea allergy. He is now flea free and his hair is starting to grow back in. Really, really sweet. Oh, there's Mr. Brad again. <laughs> he wants all the attention. Don't talk about anybody else but him, clearly. Yeah, I know, right? The ham is very cute. That buff color, which is gorgeous. And he's estimated to be about five or six. Very sweet. He gets along with other cats. He's had no issues as well. So we just have, we have a lot of really nice cats right now, which is fantastic. But they do need homes. If anyone's looking for a nice companion kitty, yeah, we've got a few, huh, Brad? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> He's climbing up me. What are you doing, you cute boy? He's hamming it up. No offense, ham. <laughs> right, Brad. Yeah, you good boy. Yeah. He's so sweet. Huh? Let's see if he'll climb up me again. I don't know if he will. No. It's a clear no. Oh. Oh. <laughs> All right. Well, it's live. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes you're going to have a little bit of a, of a cat spat over attention giving. Um, so Brad has moved on to climbing up Maria. But Ham's still here. He's fine. Come here, Ham. <laughs> See what I mean about Brad wanting all the attention? I mean, he's sweet. <laughs> Oh, he's so sweet, but now poor Ham is just back there. No cats were hurt in the making of this live stream, I promise. <laughs> All right, let's see who else we can find back here. I think the boys might be back here. Oh, no, they're not. That's Miss Nebula. Isn't she gorgeous? She's one of our shy cats as well. Gorgeous kitty, but definitely is not a, a petting kind of girl. She would do really well in a barn situation. She's actually a great um, hunter. So if anyone's looking for someone to come work for them at a barn and catch some mice, Nebula's a good choice. Oh, look, see? Now everything's fine. Sam! Oh, Russell! What are you doing? You guys want some toys? See what happens? Oh, <laughs> go Russell. <laughs> I don't know if Ham knows what to make of toys. Huh? How about this one? Ooh, this is a really cool one. Here. Oh. Ham's into that. I don't know where the boys are. Oh, there's one. Come here. Cupid, come here. Oh, oh, Josie. Go, Josie, go. That's so funny. We have one black cat back here, Jeremy, who is... 
hilarious with the toys, but he is sleeping right now, so I thought maybe hearing the bells he'd come out, but he's not. What you got, Brad? <laughs> he's like, this is my ball. Huh? Yeah, these guys are so cool. They're really sweet. All different personalities, but in the best way. It's Miss Daisy again. Everybody loves her. Oh, and there's Jeremy, our toy boy. He's hiding and sleeping. You a sleepy boy today? It's like still here. All right, so let's go back out and see how uh, <laughs> Maria's the cat whisperer, in case you guys didn't know. <laughs> right, guys? <laughs> They're so bright. Okay, let's see if... Uh... Oh, you know what? Why don't we go in FIB for a minute and say hi to the boys? There is Milo, is the black kitty. Graydon, who just hopped up and hid. And Riley, the little orange guy. He's got the funniest markings on his face, and he always makes the silliest faces. Because he's got like an Elvis lip, if you could see. <laughs> These are FIV positive kitties. They are really, really sweet with other cats. Um, Riley can be, a, Riley does like to be pet, but on his own terms. Um, Graydon and, and Milo are a little bit more standoffish to people, but they do get along with cats. FIV positive cats can live with non FIV positive cats and they can live long, happy, healthy lives. Um, you know, it's, it's not contagious to people or to other cats unless there's a very serious fight and deep bite wound. And none of these guys here are aggressive with other cats at all. Um, so again, that's Mr. Riley. Back there is Milo. And in the hole is great. And he's got the best mustache I've ever seen on any cat in my life. <laughs> right, Graydon? He's not a big fan. Oh, yeah. The ping pong balls are great for the kitties. We've done that a few times here. But we just got those little balls that are kind of the same... Um, textures ping pong balls but with the bells in it and the cats seem to go crazy for those too which is great um, and they have so much fun with it okay, let's see if we can say hi to somebody else oh Miss Zoe's still in there let's see Miss Zoe one more time hi Zozo thank you you bring me your toy, you silly girl. Yeah. She is just so sweet. Oh, get it, get it, Zoe. <laughs> Good girl. <laughs> she is too funny. Oh my gosh. Zoe! <laughs> you silly girl. That tail never, ever stops wagging. Never! You just whacked yourself in the eye, you silly girl! <laughs> oh, thank you! Oh, thank you! <laughs> oh, the cutest. The cutest! Right, Zozo? Right, Zozo? Right, yeah. All right. Miss Zoe, she's just too cute. Can't get enough of her at all. We could say hi to Max too, real quick too, because he's he's a little jealous. But if you look at him, he's in his room because he had his walk, and now he is sitting on his bed. How handsome is that boy? I have no idea how he's still here. Oh, that face. Right, handsome man? The cutest, I tell ya. All right, well, I hope everyone is enjoying this day however you can. Binge watch something on Netflix. Watch this live stream again and see some really cute animals. 
go outside but with a coat on because it's pretty chilly and windy. Stay six feet away from everybody, obviously. Wear your mask. We love you guys. Thank you again from your, for your uh, continued support. And uh, I hope this made someone smile. Have a wonderful day. I will see you guys Sunday.